These guys are out there. They're uh, they're uh, they're they're vicious right now. Scott DeWillis owns Nuts Auto and Truck in Rockland, and he's been hit hard by catalytic converter thieves. Back in 19, we had about nine thousand dollars worth of cats. I, I added up over the year stolen from our, our uh, facility. Surveillance at Scott's auto shop captured this guy stealing a catalytic converter from his lot about two weeks ago. They're often targeted by thieves because they contain precious metals. Catalytic converters are valued at up to $900 a piece on the street, making them highly profitable targets. You can be in there and out of there within five minutes. 57 catalytic converter thefts were documented across Placer County in just the last five months. At least 15 of those thefts occurred in February. Scott says he gets several customers a week who need a new catalytic converter, and they're not cheap. It was up towards $4,800 to have that catalytic converter because uh, they sawed off the cat where the muffler needed to be replaced. Targeted vehicles include Hondas and Toyotas, which are known to have a higher amount of the sought-after precious metals. Now the Placer County Sheriff's Office is partnering with local auto shops like Nuts to try and curb the recent spike in catalytic converter thefts. The idea is to have an auto shop professional charge a small fee to engrave a license plate or VIN number onto the catalytic converter to deter thieves. If a catalytic converter is stolen, the engraved information would help law enforcement track down the rightful owner and return the converter back to them. I think it's good for the community to be able to, uh, you know, have that option to be able to come in and have at least something to where, what do I do?